Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello dear students, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to another video. Uh, I am Mr. Muad and this is Easy Chemistry for All YouTube channel. Uh, I hope that everything is going well with you. Uh, before we start, I uh, would like to remind you to please share and subscribe to the channel if you hadn't done so, uh, so that hopefully many and many more students can uh, benefit from the videos. So guys, now we are in module 15, lesson 3, okay, and the title of this lesson is Reaction Rate Laws. Remember, when we talked about rate in the previous video, we said that rate means speed of reaction. Surat Surat At-Tafa'ulat, okay. Now, <clears throat> what is the outcome? Uh, of this uh, lesson. So the first one is to learn how to express the relationship between reaction rate and concentration. So concentration of reactants determine reaction orders using the method of initial rates, which we are going to uh, discuss okay, in the second part. So in the first part, we would like to express the relationship between reaction rate and concentration through the rate law, okay? Through the rate law. Now, before we start, guys, if you remember, last time we discussed this equation, right? We discussed the average reaction rate. So, for this reaction, when we used the concentration of the reactant, so remember when I say something like this, the brackets high, okay, means concentration of A. And the unit is mole per liter or capital M, molar. All right? So it's delta minus delta A, that means A final, minus the concentration of A final minus the concentration of A initial, don't forget the minus, over T final minus T initial. This was the average, okay? This is what we covered last time. Today we are going to see this equation, okay, which we will learn about shortly. Do you remember what we talked about when we discussed collision theory, guys? So collision theory says for a reaction to happen, to happen, reactants must collide. لازم يحصل تصادم. And this collision should have the correct direction تجاه صح أو orientation and also it should have sufficient energy طاقة كافية and we said that higher number of collisions لما يكون عندي تصادمات عالية this is equal to faster Reaction, Rxn, reaction, remember from the last module, يعني higher rate. والعكس صحيح. And how can we increase the number of collision? We can increase the number of collision by increasing concentration. كمية المتفاعلات اللي عندي أو تركيزهم, okay? So that's very important for you to remember that. So let's have a look at this uh, Chemical reaction, guys. What is the reactant in this reaction? Mean al Of course, all of us should say H2O2, right? Now, my question is what do you think will happen to the reaction rate speed if the concentration of H2O2 is doubled? Okay? Yani. إذا زدنا كمية ال H2O2 بمقدار الضعف شو راح يحصل لسرعة التفاعل؟ Is it going to double? Is it going to decrease? Is it going to increase? Nothing will happen. This is what we are going to discuss. So this is the main point, guys, or the main question, okay? So what is the relationship between the reaction rate and the concentration? Speed of reaction and the concentration of the reactants. So this is the main idea. The reaction rate law 
is an experimentally determined mathematical relationship يعني هي عبارة عن علاقة رياضية مستخلصة أو نحددها من خلال التجارب يعني في بيانات في أرقام there are numbers experimentally determined that relates تربط ما بين speed of reaction and the concentration of the reactants so rate يرتبط مع مين مع ال concentration of reactants في علاقة ما بينهم علاقة رياضية نطلعها من خلال التجارب and this is what we are going to discuss today guys okay So there is a relationship between the rate, the rate and the concentration of the reactants and that is called the reaction rate law. Okay, so these are the important keywords, guys. So now, before we uh, go, think of an answer to this question, guys. Okay, the concentration of reacting particles increases. Which statements are true? Choose two correct answers. So if we increase, it is a witness of the المتفاعلات. شو الصح? The chemical reaction sp stops directly. That is wrong, right? The reactant particles collide very slowly. That is wrong. The reactant particles stop colliding. That is wrong. The reactant particles collide more. Yes, because we increase the number of particles. So more collisions, the sodomat akhtar, will happen. The rate of the chemical reaction increases. That is true. Why? لأنه إحنا زودنا عدد التصادمات. Okay, the rate of the chemical reaction decreases, that's false. Okay, so the correct answers are these two. Now we are going to try and represent these collisions or the collision theory using map. And that leads us to the rate law. Okay, so what is the rate law? The rate law expresses the relationship between the rate of a chemical reaction and the concentration of the reactants. Rate law, or قانون المعدل, هو عبارة عن قانون رياضي يربط ما بين كمية المتفاعل وسرعة التفاعل. خلينا نأخذ مثال على تفاعل بسيط. This is a very simple reaction. Okay, A gives me B. So if we want to write the rate equation for this reaction, it's a one-step reaction. يعني تفاعل يصير بخطوة واحدة. The one-step reaction rate law is the following: rate equals K times A. Now this one is the concentration, and k is a constant. Okay, so the rate equals k times the concentration of a. Now we will go and talk about the scale, which is constant. Okay, but before we do that, <clears throat> I want you to look at this figure, at this equation which we just saw, and choose which figure actually represents this. يعني إذا نريد نرسم هاي المعادلة. تعطينا أي رسمة أو أي خط بياني Which graph is it going to represent? Of course, it should represent this one, right? It's a linear graph So this is like a linear equation Y equals AX Okay, so Y is the rate X is the concentration of A Which you see here There's X and Y And K is, the, is A actually Which is the slope Okay, it's the slope, the y over the x. So if you draw this equation, it should give you something like this. So the relationship between rate and concentration of A is linear in this equation. Okay. Now we'll go and talk about K, guys. So here's K. So what is K called? K is the specific rate constant. It's called the specific rate constant. It's a numerical value that relates the reaction rate and the concentration of reactants at a given temperature. يعني هو رقم يربط ما بين الريت وما بين ال concentration of the reaction. It is unique for every reaction. يعني كل تفاعل عنده قيمة معينة من الكي. الكي هاي مش موحدة لكل التفاعلات. كل تفاعل عنده قيمة كي مختلفة. The reaction rate is directly proportional to the molar concentration of A. يعني هناك علاقة طردية ما بين ال concentration of A and the rate. علاقة طردية شفنا الرسمة صح؟ إذا الـ A تزيد الـ rate يزيد. So علاقة طردية direct relationship. Okay. Directly proportional معناها directly related. علاقة طردية. The specific rate constant does not change with concentration. يعني مهما أغير الـ A الـ K does not change. 
but it changes with temperature. إذا غيرنا درجة حرارة التفاعل تتغير الكي. إذا غيرنا ال concentration الكي ما تتغير. So a large K means A reacts rapidly, fast. That means a fast reaction or a high rate. يعني قيمة الكي تقول لنا سرعة التفاعل. كل ما كانت قيمتها عالية كل ما كان التفاعل أسرع. والعكس صحيح. So a higher value of K means a faster reaction or a higher rate. Okay? So try to answer this question and then come back to the video. Which of the following is not true? So the rate of one step reaction is the product of the concentration of the reactant and the constant K. So the Caron one step reaction, A gives me B. The rate equation was K times concentration of A. reactant So this is true. The rate law expresses the relationships between the rate of the reaction and the concentration of the reactant at a given temperature. Yes, we saw it in the definition here, guys. Okay, so this is also true. The specific rate constant is the same for all reaction. Now, this is wrong because it is unique for every reaction. So this is our answers, guys. This is our answer. So the rate law must be determined experimentally. This is also true. Who we have said not true. Fully not true here, number C. So that's the answer, okay? Now, you can check your understanding, read the question, stop the video, come back for the answers. So these are the answers which we already talked about, guys, okay? All right. Now, we are going to start talking about first order reaction rate load. And I'm going to explain what do we mean by first order, okay? So let me just remove this. So if we write the rate equation or the rate law for this reaction, it's going to be rate rate equals K times the concentration, min al mutafa'al H2O2. Okay? So, in this rate equation, this, I'll just change this one, H2O2, and this is 1, F reactant H2O2. So, in this rate equation, guys, the notion, if I put the brackets, it's like there is one up here to the power. كأنه في أس واحد. إحنا ما نكتب الواحد في الكيمستري, right? So هذا الأس اللي هو واحد, it's called reaction order. So the exponent here, or the power, is called the reaction order. So if I say first order reaction, it means that the power here in the equation is one. Okay? That's the meaning of... Uh, that's the meaning of this uh, of this power, okay? Again, when we say first order reaction, it means that the power the power in the rate equation here is one, and we don't write one. So that is called the reaction order. Okay. Now, the reaction order of a reactant, what does it tell us? It tells us how the rate is affected by the concentration of the reactant. يعني تقول لنا شو راح يحصل للريت إذا غيرنا الconcentration. هل الريت راح يضعف راح ينضرب في أربعة راح ينضرب في ستة and so on. Again, the reaction order, the power here, tells us if we change this reactant, if we change the concentration, إذا غيرنا الكمية شو راح يحصل للريت. Okay. So, the reaction, as I told you, is said to be first order because the power above H2O2 is 1. Okay? So now, we said that the rate equals K H2O2. The power can 1. So for 
first order reactions this is very important whatever happens to the concentration the same will happen to the rate شو معنى هالكلام imagine i have h2o2 here and here's the rate right so imagine at the beginning both of them were zero right okay guys imagine at one the rate was actually three if i increased if i doubled if i doubled the concentration of one and it becomes two the concern the rate is going to be also doubled if i doubled this even more this one will also be doubled this is what i mean for first order reactions whatever happens to the concentration the same will happen to the rate يعني اي شيء يسوي اي مقدار الزياده اللي يزيد بها الكونسنتريشن هو نفس مقدار الزياده اللي يزيد بها الريت لان علاقه طرديه علاقه لينير whatever happens to this will happen to this okay that's why we have this linear graph this is only true for first order reaction شو معناها لما يكون عندي الباور الباور واحد okay guys so here have a look at this equation this is the rate law for the equation that we saw before right what's the order guys the order is one why because there is a power here so it's first order what happens to the rate if the concentration of h2o2 is triple and why so the correct answer should be the rate will triple because the reaction order for h2o2 is one it's first order if the number up here is different then different things will happen okay and we'll see that later and that was the end of part one guys okay now we will go to part two and we will find the reaction order from the rate law equation use the method of initial rate to determine the reaction rate law and order so guys we talked about this reaction right and we said for example the rate is going to be k a to the power of خلينا نقول m على حسب ال m ممكن تكون zero ال m ممكن تكون واحد first order ال m ممكن تكون اثنين على حسب what if I have something like this what will be the rate guys if I have more than one reactant كلهم لازم يكونوا في المعادلة so it's concentration of a times concentration of b times concentration of c كل المتفاعلات and the power here is m power here is n, the power here is p ال m و ال n و ال p هاي بس general يعني it should be numbers لازم يكونوا أرقام لكن أنا حاطط حروف هني general يعني okay عادي ممكن x, y, z it doesn't matter okay all right so there are other order reaction rate laws guys okay so the overall reaction order of reaction of any reaction is the sum of the orders for the individual reactants in the rate law what do we mean? Imagine we have this reaction, guys. A plus B gives me products. The rate equation for this is K times the concentration of A to the power M times the concentration of B to the power M. Now, A, B are the concentrations. M and N, the powers, are the reaction orders. The overall or the total reaction order is M plus N. يعني ال M high reaction order حق ال A وال N is the reaction order for B but if you want the overall reaction order total is going to be M plus N okay very good so have a look at this equation guys imagine that the rate 
is equal to k n o power of 2 times h2. هذا القانون is coming from experimental data, which we are going to see in the next part. Okay? How we can write this uh, equation. Now, كل واحدة عندها powers مختلفة. High to the power of 2 and this one to the power of 1. So, h2 order is 1. تمام? Because the power here is 1. So, if we doubled h2, the rate should... اللي أخذناها قبل شوي The rate should double as well لأن ال power 1 فأي شيء يحصل ال H2 نفس الشيء بيحصل لل rate Okay Now The concentration of NO Or the order of NO is 2 So if we double the NO Okay Doubled يعني ضربناها في 2 so what should happen to the rate? The rate is going to quadruple. Why is that? Because NO here is to the power of 2. So they said we doubled NO. So guys, if you want to know what happens to the rate, just take this power and put it here. So Doubled معناها نضرب في اثنين صح؟ نحط ال power 2 So the rate is multiplied by 4 Again The order of the concentration of NO is 2 So إذا دبلنا ال NO The rate رح ينضرب في 4 ليش؟ لأنه doubled If we doubled NO معناها ضربناها في اثنين صح؟ فعشان نعرف شو رح يحصل لل rate لازم هاي الاثنين نحطها أس اثنين لأنه في ال equation في أس اثنين للن أو. so that's what happens. another example if we triple n o triple معناها ضربناها في ثلاثة صح؟ so the rate is going to be times three أس اثنان من وين جبنا الأس اثنان from the equation here. so the rate بينضرب في ستة يعني إذا ضربنا إذا زودنا ال concentration of n o ثلاث مرات السرعة راح تزداد ستة أضعاف. Okay. So it's first order for H2 and second order for NO. Now the overall reaction order, do you remember? We said we need to add the exponents. So it will be 1 plus 3. So third order. تمام؟ Okay. Now have a look at this question. Okay. And then try to answer it. Stop the video and then come back. Assume that the rate law for a generic chemical reaction rate uh, is rate and the following, okay? What is the reaction order for A, action order for B, and the overall reaction? I shall not have a reaction order for A, and we will show you the level A1. So this is first order. What's the reaction order for B? Three, third order. What's the overall reaction order? It is 1 plus 3, which is 4th order. Okay, guys. Alhin, or now, we are going to go to the last part of the lesson and this last part talks about the following so imagine you have a reaction a plus b gives me c a rate is how we k power of m power of n الحين كيف نحدد ال m وال n how can we find m and n في الاسئلة اللي عطاني اياها الى الان كان يعطيني الارقام فوق they give me the numbers right directly وهي الارقام تيجي من التجارب يعني في بيانات so how can we actually find the values of m and n this is what we use to do to do to find them okay the method of initial rates the method of initial rates determines the reaction order by comparing initial rates of a reaction carried out with a varying reactant concentration يعني 
So this is B guys. Okay. This is B here. I'm just changing things quickly. شو معنى هالكلام؟ يعني احنا كل مرة نسوي تجربة ونقعد نغير في كمية ال A وال B. Okay? So this is the reaction. A plus B gives me products. Okay? So we do experiments and every time we change the concentrations of A and B ونشوف شو يحصل للريت. هي اللي بتحدد هل إذا ضاعفنا ال A شو يحصل للريت؟ يضاعف يتم نفس ما هو ينضرب في أربعة and so on. And that's how we determine that's how we find the M and the N. Okay, the Hummel powers. Okay. So find the reaction rate law for the experiment from the experimental data in the table. يعني يعطينا table فيها ترايل تجارب التجربة الأولى والكميات اللي استخدمها من الـ A والـ B التجربة الثانية الكميات اللي استخدمها من الـ A والـ B التجربة الثالثة والكميات اللي استخدمها من الـ A والـ B وهذه القياسات حق السرعة اللي هي الـ rates So we know for this reaction هذا هو التفاعل We know that the equation will be rate equals K times concentration of A to the power N times concentration of B to the power N So we need to find M and N. So let's <coughs> find M first. Okay. So to find M, guys, which is very important, we need to choose two trials where the concentration of B doesn't change. Mean the tajribtain? اللي فيها البي ثابته ما تتغير. It's here and here, right? So trials one and two. Okay. So here you have the concentration of A at trial one equals 0.1, and this is the concentration of A in trial two equals 0.2. And the rate of trial 1 equals 2 times 10 to the power minus 3, where rate for trial 2 equals 4 times 10 to the power minus 3. Now, guys, what you need to do is divide the concentration of A from trial 2 over trial 1. So 0 0.2 over 0 0.1 equals 2. And here, divide the concentration of trial of rate from trial 2 over rate of trial 1. So 4 times minus 3 over 2 times 10 to the power minus 3. The answer is 2. So do you see this, guys? The answer that you get from here, put 2 to the power m. لأنه احنا نتكلم عن ال a here. وهي عندها m هني. Equals this answer that you get from the rate equals two. And solve find m. So m is going to be one. This is the fastest way, uh, not the fastest way, but actually, actually, there is a fast way to do it here. شوفوا هني في trial one and two شو حصل concentration of a دبلنا صح. Automatically, شو حصل للريت الدبل بعد يعني الشيء اللي سويناه هني حصل هني. So that so you know the order should be one first order اللي تكلمنا عليه صح. Meaning the power should be one. So you can do it like this by just looking, or you can do it using math. If you don't know how to do it by looking, you can just use math. So divide the higher concentration over the lower, and the higher rate over the lower. And the answer that you get from the concentration, put it to the power of m. 
equals the answer that you get from the rate division. وهذه حطها to the power of m. And then find m. فأكيد الام لازم تكون واحد. So now, rate equals k concentration of a times the concentration of b to the power n. إحنا طلعنا إنه هذا الناتج واحد. So this is one. Now let's go and find m. Okay. So remember to find n. Choose two trials where the concentration of A does not change. عشان نعرف شو تأثير البي على الريت. You will notice that in trials two and three, the concentration of A might change. The initial concentration does not change, right? So you will notice that, guys. So now, the concentration of B in trial 3 divided by this concentration of B, trial 2, equals 0 0.2 over 0 0.1 equals 2. And rate of trial 3 over rate of trial 2 equals 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 2 over 4 times 10 to the power minus 3, which is 4. So take this number down here and say 2 to the power of n. ليش n? لأن هنتكلم على البي الحين. Equals this number here. So n equals 2. يعني نحل هاي المعادلة عشان طلع الفن. فأكيد لأنه 2 أس 2 تساوي 4. So أكيد ال n is equal to. Okay? يعني لما دبلنا قيمة ال b هير قيمة ال rate انضربت في أربعة فـ this is second order إذا تذكرتوا في الجزء اللي طاف من الفيديو okay so now the rate equals k the concentration of a تكلمنا عليه احنا طلعنا ال a is 1 and now b is 2 and this is how we do it guys we found the equation, the rate equation. So overall order is 1 plus 2 equals 3. Low third order. Okay, guys. This is not easy, okay? You can repeat this part again of the video, but this is very important. I am 100% sure. Well, there's nothing 100%, but I'm very sure that a question like this will come in the exam. And هذا الدرس هذا أهم شيء فيه هاي المسألة. تمام؟ So when we doubled a, the reaction rate doubled. So a is first order. يعني the power is one. Power is one. And when doubling b, the rate quadruples. يعني لما دبلنا b. The rate in the four is four, so it's second order for B, and this is the rate. طبعاً هو شاف من الجدول فقط نفس ما قلت لكم ممكن بطريقة سريعة من الجدول أو إذا ما تعرفون ممكن سوى بطريقة المعادلات. Okay. Okay. So let's just do a quick revision on what we covered so far. So the rate law of equation of equation of an equation the rate law of reaction, sorry about this typo. If an equation was determined to be rate equals k, a to the power 1, b to the power 2. What is the overall order of the reaction? So if they ask about a, it is 1, first order. They ask about b, it is second order. Lakin, if they ask about the overall, it's 2 plus 1, so it should be third order. Okay? And that's the correct answer, guys. Now, what is the rate law for the equation A plus B gives me products based on the experimental data shown here? So this is a tricky one, guys. Okay, let's do what we did before. First of all, you need to write the equation: concentration of M times concentration of B to the power. So let's find M first. 
So to find M, we need two experiments. لازم نشوف تجربتين من هني. The B فيهم ثابتة. مين the B ثابتة موجودة في one and two. Okay. So now concentration of A, two over concentration of A, one equals zero point zero eight over zero point zero four equals two. And rate two over rate one equals 1.92 times 10 to the power minus 5 over 9.6 times 10 to the power minus 6, which is equal 4. So take this, take this here. 2 to the power of m equals 4. So m equals 2. يعني this m should be 2 now. أي إجابتين ما فيهم a to the power of 2, c and d. فأوتوماتيكلي هذا لا غلط. Okay. Now, let's go and try to find N. Now, for B, now choose two experiments where A does not change. Now, A does not change in 2 and 3. لكن في شيء معين. المشكلة أنه الحين لما نروح من 2 إلى 3، الكونسنتريشن قاعد يقل إلى النصف. Okay. الريت قاعد يقل إلى النصف. So, it's better to do the concentration of B in trial 2 over the concentration of B in trial 3. دائما الأكبر تقسيم الأصغر. Okay? عشان يسهل عليكم الحال. Which is 2. And the rate of 2 over rate of 3 equals 1.92 times 10 to the power minus 5 over 9.6 times 10 to the power minus 6, which is equal to 4. So take this here, take this here, 2 to the power of n equals 4, so n equals 2. So the n here equals 2. So what is the correct answer? It is A, guys. Okay? نفس ما قلت لكم لما نسوي حركة التقسيم هاي مش لازم إنه التجربة الثالثة تقسيم الثانية أو الثالثة تقسيم الأولى لا. خليها دائما القيمة الأكبر تقسيم القيمة الأصغر الحين القيمة الأكبر موجودة في التجربة الثانية فالتجربة الثانية تقسيم الثالثة okay alright for this reaction experiments so you have this reaction experiments show that doubling the concentration of A causes the rate to double يعني the concentration of A here power 1 لأنه لما دبلناه الريت تدبل while doubling the concentration of B causes the rate to quadruple. يعني لما ضربنا the concentration of B ضرب اثنين شو حصل للريت انضرب في أربعة. يعني the concentration of B should be to the power of two in the equation, second order. So which one does this represent? It represents number B. Okay, guys, and that's the end of uh, our lesson. Uh, please. Share and subscribe to the channel, guys, and repeat the video as much as you want. If you have any questions, you know how to uh, contact me. Let me just remind you. Uh, you know how to contact me. Please uh, leave a comment if you have any question and share the channel with your friends. And I wish you all the best of luck. Take care, guys.